Hi, Jesse Nebulous here with a sketchbook tour. This is my sketchbook for July of 2019. I had a challenge that I issued to myself that I would do one sketchbook a month and I have completed for July. So go me. I always leave the first one blank. It's a bit of a tradition. Just property of Jessica Mitchell. That is the real name of the nebulous. And I really like this pattern. And um, I actually, you're going to see more of that in this book. Uh, one of the things I really wanted to do in this book was focus on um, hair. And just, uh, you know, because I like to do portraits. And here's just a swatch page. That's kind of another tradition. Is to be, I usually get a new uh, supply when I get a new sketchbook. And then I have to swatch it out. So, Okay, here is my first watercolor piece. I think I did pretty well. Like I said, I wanted to focus more on hair. And as you can see in this one, the hair is quite simplistic. It's just lines. Um, if I had to do it again, I would vary the line weight a little bit. That's what I've learned. I like her lips and her eyes are very pretty. They're not quite even though. And the skin tone's quite good. Uh, very pleased with this as my first watercolor piece. Because watercolor was the new supply this month, the sketchbook. So this is just a lovely little scene. This is super easy to do. I actually uh, made a video and I will link that in the description box below on how to do this, a little tutorial. Because it's super easy, but it looks really nice. Okay. Here's another portrait. I like this one quite a bit. Um, again, the hair is just lines. And this one I did vary the weight, the weight of the um, the dark lines, the black lines. So I like this, another watercolor piece. If I had to do this again, I don't think I would uh, do that tier. I think that that's a little too much and it's unnecessary. And I would do the, color, the ribbons a different color. I would do them green. I don't know why I didn't do them green, like the jewels. Because it doesn't stand out against her hair. You can't, you can barely tell there's still see ribbons there. Anyway. And here is my first ever attempt at two-point perspective. And I'm actually quite pleased with it. It's a little wonky. I mean, this road is all kinds of screwy and twisty-turny. And the buildings are kind of blank and boring and blah but it's two point perspective and it works it's what it's supposed to be and i'm just quite pleased with it i i can't ask for more for a first attempt and this did not quite pan out the way i wanted it to um mostly i had to quit working on it because if you can see here i was overzealous and i erased before it got completely dry and it got ripped up so I couldn't really continue because it was just the I was screwing up the paper so yes this didn't quite pan out but I like the idea of the mosaic and I'll probably try it again another time because it's a good idea just execution sucked we've got another one of these scenes only this one's a little bit later in the evening we got some stars and again super easy to do if you want to give it a try just go to the video in the description box you shall learn the ways and here's another one, but with a little bit of a scene. I like the way I did the moon. And we've got, of course, a naked lady. I do like my naked ladies. What can I say? The female form is a beautiful thing. Okay, this is watercolor with graphite, which is just pencil. Um, I really like the way it looks, but you have to be careful. Um, if you're too heavy handed, it will smudge. You'll smudge the graphite and it'll get all muddy. But I think I did a good job. This is some sort of elf. I imagine like an elf princess. So I like the lips. I think I did a good job with this. And here, like I said, we would see this pattern once again. Not much to say about this. It's just, it's weird and I like it. Um, this flower is actually very easy to do. I might do a video uh, explaining how to do this. Well, actually, I honestly attempted a video to, uh, explaining how to do that and the footage got all screwy so yeah I love this pattern it looks like it's just jumping off the page at you it's really cool I might have to do a video on that as well 
this page. Little, I ran into so many problems with this. Uh, halfway through the pe black pencil that I was using, uh, the lead broke, and I couldn't get a good point to come back because uh, my pencil sharpener is a piece of shit. So I had to use a black Crayola, and Crayola, you know, tried and true, but it doesn't layer very well. So that was a bit of a pain in the ass trying to layer. But I think it turned out pretty well, considering all the problems I had. Her lips are way too big, but I like them. I like big, full, luscious lips and big eyes and small noses. It's just something, it's just my style that's emerging. As you can see, I'm getting more dynamic with the hair. There's more movement. Um, yeah, so this is me progressing with the hair. And her eyes are quite stunning, aren't they? Like it. And again, quite good with the skin tone. I thought I would have a hell of a time uh, figuring out how to do skin tones with watercolor. But I really have, uh, I caught on pretty quick with that. So I'm pleased, pleased as punch. This one, um, this has to do with my medical conditions. That's what this is. I have um, autoimmune disease and a neurological movement disorder. So when that's acting up, it feels like I'm being jerked around by strings like I'm a marionette. So that's what this is about. About sickness. Here's another watercolor and graphite. Um, the hair's a bit blah. And if I had to do it again, I would have more contrast because it's the only thing that's really dark are the eyes, which is quite nice. I wanted them to be the focal point. That's why they're so big. But the rest of the colors are so muted that it's just, there's not enough contrast, basically. And I think she kind of looks like David Tennant in drag. So if that's something you ever wanted to see, there it is. Ah, and this is actually the end card for my videos. So if you've watched my videos before, you've seen this. Just Jesse Nebulous. Uh, this piece. Um, not pleased with this. I didn't like the way it turned out. It just, I like her lips. I think they're pretty good. It just wasn't working out. And I had this rule that I couldn't um, abandon any piece. I had to finish it. So technically I finished it. It's finished enough. It's just, it just didn't go well. It's just sometimes you make bad art. And that's bad art. This is Okay. It's a bit cutesy for my usual taste. Um, and she's actually clothed. That's rare. And she has a full body, which is also rare. Um, things that I'm meaning to work on, which would be bodies. That's what I'm aiming for next, because I got hair. I've got hair down pretty well. Um, not great, but I still, I've got a good handle on it. But next, need to work on bodies. So, I remember at this point having drawn a lot of pretty ladies and cutesy things, if I felt stifled. So I switched gears and went the opposite direction <laughs> to something a bit grotesque. Um, I could have added more shading to this, especially to these droopy breasts. And this skinny little rib cage is quite un unnerving in the pelvis. So I could have done more shading in this. Yeah, you can see I went to a bit more grotesque direction. Um, this poor guy has some kind of weird creature all up in his business, coming out of all of his holes, all of his orifices. That's that's a word, orifices. It's a weird word. This piece I really like. Clearly it's the same type of creature, but you don't see the creature, you just see the lines, and I think that's uh, creepier. And the watercolor really added, you know, just punched it up. So, I'm quite pleased with how this turned out. And here's another one that I attempted to do similar uh, similar themes with the all the lines coming out and the veins. I think the veins turned out pretty good, but otherwise I just didn't like it. I don't like the... I probably should have just left the watercolor alone or just did the eyes because the black and nothing else it just doesn't look quite right but you live you learn and then you get loves and i don't remember what was on this page but i screwed up so bad that i had to cover it up <laughs> and i just left some little sayings for myself mistakes are actually unexpected lessons an opportunity knocks but it does not beg so 
Yeah, I don't remember what that was, but I screwed that up royally. And a dragon. Not much to say about it. It's not exciting. It's 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 okay. It's decent. It's my first dragon. I th I think I have never. I don't think I've ever done a dragon before. So something different for me. Here we have another portrait. Nothing too exciting about this one. It's just, you know, it's okay. It's not bad. It's not good. It's just, it's okay. And going a little bit different direction, back into some watercolors. This one I really like. This is the beginning of, uh, I think, a series of about four paintings uh, having to do with the sun and the moon and trees. So that one's very pretty. I think I actually did a video for this one. This one, same scene, but at night. Very pretty. I like it. And then here, I wanted to simulate um, standing in a forest and looking up so the trees are all around you. And these are stars or possibly snow. Kind of looks like it might be snow. So I'm not opposed to that. I like snow. And this is my favorite of the bunch. This has an almost nightmare before uh, nightmare before Christmas kind of feel to it. I like it. This is watercolor with a little bit of gouache for the lanterns. <coughs> Pardon me. And this is a mermaid that I screwed up so bad I had to cover it up. <laughs> with art from, I believe this is Monster Hunter. So, yeah, it's, it was bad. It was just, it was grotesque. Okay, and now we have the bust of a woman with rather large nipples now that I'm thinking of it, but hey, I like it. This is where I got my metallic Sharpie and I started using it a lot because I love it. Just another watercolor and graphite. Nothing spectacular, but you know, it's decent. I tried to do the hair dynamically and it, it almost works. It's nearly there. And this is the page where I tried to record how to do this flower and the footage got all screwed up. So maybe I'll try that again because it's simple to do and it looks cool. And actual roses are hard to do. So my faux rose, might be a good alternative. And this is a tree with some uh, rosy vines, faux rose vines, watercolor with a watercolor with a little bit of gouache for the grass because I screwed up <laughs> and I had to cover it up. And gouache is opaque instead of transparent, so it's easier to cover things up. And this, I don't have a lot to say about it except I really like it. I I, I uh, got some watercolor on the side there. Damn. I tried long and hard. I wondered and, you know, tried to figure out if I wanted to do watercolor background for this. But eventually I decided I didn't want to screw it up. But it ended up getting watercolor on it anyway. Oh, well. C'est la vie. And another tree, this time on an alien planet. I like it. There's something almost Dr. Seussian about it. If I had to do it again, I think I would probably do a black outline because it kind of, it's a little too soft, I think. But I like it. And one of the rare full, well, not full bodies because you can't see her, her feet or her hands, but the hair is quite dynamic. And I think her proportions are pretty good. The shoulder might be a little too big. Obviously, her head isn't part of that equation because her head's way too big and her eyes are too big. That's a stylistic choice, not a mistake. But And I like her thick thighs and everything. She's got some oomph to her, and I like it. And this is just a guy, just a creepy cyclops. Cyclops with a creepy smile. I quite like it. Every now and then, I just like to draw and something just really weird. This is one of those times.
and I finally got some masking tape so I could tape off the sides to make it look a little cleaner and nicer. So not, I'm, I really like the way the style of this. I should do this more often where you do um, watercolor background and then do um, Sharpie over it and then color in a little bit with some colored pencils. That's yeah, nice. Ah, uh, I was very sleep deprived when I did this one. It <laughs> It's lyrics from a song from the soundtrack of Devil's Carnival. Yeah, it's from the song Grief. So, there's that. That's Sharpie and marker. A little bit of watercolor. Watercolor. And this I tried to do a landscape with watercolor pencils, and it did not go well. Not only, I mean, there is depth. That was my main uh, intention, was to give the piece depth, and I got that, so. But my mountains look like pyramids, and there's all these awful cauliflowers in the sky. That's uh, from the watercolor pencils. They're just a crappy quality, so they don't work too well for long swatches. And this piece, I love this piece. This is a turning point. I started using references again, which for some reason, I just, I have an aversion to using references because I feel like I don't do it very well. I don't see, I don't translate what I see very well. And, you know, things that you don't do well, you avoid. So I shouldn't because references really do make a difference. So references, kids, references. And after this success of this piece that I like so much, I tried a very um, highly contrasted one. And it just did not translate correctly. Um, this side is fine. It looks good. But this just didn't look like a shadowed. It just looked weird for some reason. I like the side of the lips, though. The lips look really good. It's just too bad this did not translate correctly. Anyway. <clears throat> so... Here's another naked lady, and it's uh, watercolor with gouache. This part's gouache. This didn't turn out quite as well. <laughs> and I tried to save it by going in with the liner and trying to give it some form. It's just not good. I probably should have uh, collaged over it, but I didn't. This one's pretty neat. This is watercolor and Sharpie. Quite nice. And this is just a night scene with uh, using my metallic Sharpie that I'm just in love with. I like my Sharpies, and the metallic one's my favorite. I've got a video up for this one, so not much to say, except the hair looks really good. I'm very pleased with the hair, and her eyes pretty. If you've caught on, that color I use for eyes almost every single time because I love it so much. <clears throat> I have a video for this one, too. So I'm not going to say much here, except it's a uh, watercolor pencil and colored pencil blended out with alcohol. So, and this is just watercolor, just a sunset. The Sharpie bled through the paper, so I decided not to do much, too much on this, and so I just did something easy. I didn't want to waste energy on a page that had all smears. And we have... The Gorgon Medusa. Not much to say about that. A little bit of metallic Sharpie. And pencil and watercolor. This is okay. I, I like the hair. There's, it's okay. There's, you know, nothing, eh, nothing to write home about, but it's okay. This one I like quite a lot. <clears throat> I have an upcoming video for this one. So she's got the hair swept up in the wind, and I hope that that translates with the leaves and the butterflies going around. I left her eyes blank because I wanted it to be slightly unsettling, so I, I gave her no irises. And I am on the uh, artist Amino, and they did a Greek mythology challenge, and I did Hecate. She is a Greek goddess, so... And I like, I could have gone further with the shading. I could have gone darker. But I do like that um, the light's only being cast here and there the way it should be. I did very well on that part. I just should have gone deeper with the shadows. But yeah, I think that's pretty good. Her body looks pretty much in proportion and everything. So, yay. 
And this is just an abstract of a female figure. It's pastel and uh, oil pastel and colored pencil. It's okay. Nothing major. And this is another uh, one for the Greek mythology. It's Helen of Troy. Even though that's not really a Greek headpiece, a hairpiece, but I liked it and I didn't want to change it. <laughs> so I like this piece a lot. And just a graphite sketch of a woman looking down. I like it. The hair, not so much in love with, but I do like it overall. And the very last one that I just finished a little bit ago. I think her eyes are a little too close together, but other than that, I like it. I like the lips, and I really like this. And I think her hair is pretty good. So, yeah, that is the end of it. That is all for July's sketchbook. Thank you for joining me. Tune in again. I will have more videos uh, Fridays at noon and sometimes during the week if I feel like it. So, thanks for coming. Uh, uh, I hate doing the outro. I need to just make an outro that I say every time so that I can just get in the habit of saying it and I don't have to think of what to say. <laughs> but thank you for sticking with me and I hope to see you again. <laughs> Bye!